but they are kind of camera shy they're very private people so you will be not seeing them in the video but I'm still glad for the opportunity to add some video to the uh, to the uh, record because I need this video badly as you know to be able to show you what you sort of uh, terrain that you're getting when you come hiking so this is the sort of garden world hiking that we do on the way up to the cliff in the distance if you're doing the six mile when you go all right we have a sugar apple tree here and uh, this sugar apple tree there's the sugar apples is right in growing in the middle of a guava tree this is a lot of fruit trees you're going to see on this hike because over there and let me just zoom out so you can see over there we have several different things we have mangoes we have um, sea grapes we have pomegranates further down so this is what you're seeing here. okay we have a termite nest here on this tree a large termite nest the tree is living but the termites are busy at it and uh, my tourists are quite amazed because they haven't seen a termite nest of that size and as we go down here now you'll see that this is the jungle portion I wanted to show you this in particular I, for a long time I've been wanting to show you this because this is the jungle portion of the four mile hike hello again we came through that clearing there where we had to mash down the bush to get through and uh, even now I may have a few ants or spiders walking on me and we are now in a little clearing and uh, we are actually going in this direction so let us go let us be bold and go I made sure that my wonderful tourists were not in the video at all but as you can see we are in an area where there's considerably high grass and where it looks like there really is no place to go and that is part of the excitement of hiking with Stephen Mendes because you never know if it's really a genuine trail or not because these trails are not like they are in North America where you just need a guidebook and you can follow there are no signs and when the rain falls and the bush grows if you don't have a good sense of direction you have no idea where to go for example you never would have known that you're supposed to go through there would you but that is where we're going once again we want to mention to our viewers that this trail that we're on here is part of the four mile hike only uh, the four mile hike there's a butterfly in the grass if I can zoom in on it before it moves yeah there it is look at that ain't that pretty yeah there's a butterfly all right well that's what people watch my YouTube channel for something different every time so here we are now the trail goes through over there it's very similar so we're not going to take much more of this This is the source of the water coming out of the underground cave. The cannonball flower tree is bearing. And notice those amazing flowers. Half the excitement here is being able to walk and take the pictures as we go along. East coast today, but we're looking there over towards Bashiba side across the young field of uh, bananas. As you can see, Bashiba is in the distance. And uh, we are heading now towards the, the coast here along this trail. Okay, on the left here now is some wonderful uh, Casharina trees. If you ever saw a Casharina tree before, 
and uh, it's sort of like a pine tree it's a tropical pine that's the best way of describing a casuarina tree and coming up here now on the left hand side is some sea grapes this is a sea grape bush here on the left hand side right now and then we have more casuarina trees stop here and we are going to zoom in on the view because today is a wonderful day in Barbados we really okay we're walking here along a nice uh, path of lovely russet colored leaves and as I said this has never before been seen on the video never before have I tried to tape this for the uh, benefit of my fans on YouTube Facebook Flickr and Twitter but here now as you can see we are on our way down now you can see a window to the sea a window to the sea right here and the headland below as we head into a hole in the bush okay we, this part of the trail is also largely undocumented and uh, the land has become very up and down as a result of uh, the hurricane activity in Thomas as you see there is a nice view good deal you must get a good deal on a hike Barbados therefore if we say we're going to give you four we got to give you at least four and then a little bit more rather than three and a half or three and three quarters because you come to enjoy Barbados and you must do so okay we're here now at another little water course maybe this one this will come out a little more stable and we want to show you the we want to show you that there was a bridge here from the railroad yes the railroad ran along that and crossed that bridge obviously the top of the bridge was made of wood and it's gone right now but uh, we actually came through that trail there we're here in Concord Bay and I'm just uh, giving you a little overview of the lovely unspoiled scenery that you're going to see when you come hiking with us alright we just want to show you the coral formation on the rock below it's a very interesting formation notice how the coral has there you go you can see it there yourself there is the coral on the side view isn't it amazing that is brain coral on a sideways view we're here in Congar Bay and this is an amazing scenery that you're going to see when you hike with us on the four and a half mile hike. So book yours today.